Hey, what's going on YouTube? Dark Dodger here. Today I jumped in the flashing lights to showcase the newest game updates release, which is the civilian role in sandbox mode. So let's take a look at flashing lights newest feature. Okay, so to access the civilian mode, you have to first click F6 to go into the sandbox menu. And at the bottom of the sandbox menu, you're going to have a button that says civilian mode. So click that button, then it gives you the option to select a pad of your choosing. Um, we have a total of six as of right now. Uh, I believe more, more pads and more appearances will be added later on down the line, but I believe Deb said they weren't ready just yet at this for this update. Um, but this is what we got for now. We got a total of six pads. Each pad has one default appearance and a total of three vehicle options to choose from as, as a civilian. So we got the tried and true bald white guy with the wife beater and black pants. Tried and true black guy with the black jacket, red shirt and dark jeans. And the same as we come to know in this game, floating throughout the game world, all available to use as pads in multiplayer. Again, the uh, appearances are still default. One, one natural default appearance per pad. You can't select anything else for them just yet. But those future updates will be coming soon for the game. So we have more options as a civilian. For vehicles, we got the, the dirty pickup. We've got the clean pickup, which is literally the same vehicle. There's just a dirty and a clean variant, depending on which one you want. And for cars, we have the Camaro-like vehicle and it's clean. So once you are sent the invite, the invite come by way of server host. So like I'm playing solo right now, I'm on the server by myself. So I can invite myself to be a sieve on this server. But if I was to join another another host server, they have to give me, send me an invite to be a seal on their server. I can't just jump in and choose to be a seal. So I'm gonna accept my own invite. And hop in. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so that's another thing about the civilian, picking on the civilian role. Your spawn points are, I believe, random. So when you get spawned, each time you spawn as a sieve, you can't pick your spawn points, but you do spawn randomly anywhere on the map with your vehicle parked nearby. What can you do as a what can we do right now as a sieve? I believe it's pretty limited. Um, we can enter the vehicle. We could sit in the passenger seat of our own vehicle if we so choose. Of course, we can drive the drive our own vehicles. In the trunk of civilian vehicles, you will have access to reload your your ammo for your weapon. And that's all you have as of right now. The only weapon at our disposal, I believe is just a handgun. The taser does show up, but I don't believe it, it is an option at this point. Like you can't select the taser, but it shows up in the menu. The handgun is definitely a working option. You can use the handgun, but as of, I believe this update, you don't have any real use for handgun as far as crime committing a crime goes i mean you can you can shoot it out with police if you want to but that's roughly all you can do you can just you can kill 
kill other heads walking around the map if you so choose to, but there's no benefit to doing so other than just doing it. Heads can be injured from being shot in the body, depending on where you shoot them, or if you go for a headshot on a head, on a pad, they'll die instantly. Like they can be injured if you shoot them in a body part that is non-vital, they might be injured, but they'll run away with some health remains. If you shoot them point blank in the head, they'll die instantly. So that's a that's a neat addition. All we need is some maybe some robbery functions in the game. That would be awesome to go along with this. Vehicles, you can shoot out tires. You cannot shoot out windows. And also, I believe uh, NPCs do not react if you shoot at them through the car window. If you jump out in front of an NPC that's driving a car and fire at them, they pretty much just won't react. I don't think they've been programmed to at this point. And there's no damage model for shooting the vehicles other than players. Yeah, so that's that's for the most part all we have right now with the um, with the civilian role as far as what we're capable of doing. I'm sure updates will will add make additions to our capabilities as a seal. The other thing too is you once you injure or shoot an NPC, you cannot call the ambulance. You can't call emergency services to help them. change how fast your car is, how heavy it is, how many corners. If you want to mess around with that, change the time of day, any time you want to, morning, midday, evening, night, whatever you want. Change the physics, world gravity, collision, bounciness, I don't really mess around with any of that. Uh, player move speed, you can also change that. This is the menu where you can edit your vehicle's top speed and drive force and stuff like that. You can bump it all the way up to the max and have like a super fast car. Let's see what changing that does to this. Spawn 
options to oh the random kids are supposed to have the the new clothing options on i did not notice that before i guess that must have came in with the with the release of the update not the beta because when i played the beta i don't think they had the new outfits on so yeah on on pads and they just walk off and you can just shoot them or something if you so choose to the traffic in the menu you can force them to you can force them to drive above the speed limit the traffic enforcement options if you want to do that um but what are the the best features uh i close the menu real quick So far, I've seen it's objects. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. The option to spawn barrels, cone, wet floor signs, road close signs, road close signs too. So we can create our own. On scenes and sims and set up scenarios using the objects objects phone menu. I'm assuming there'll be much many more additions to the, the object spawn menu that'll make for a lot of entertainment down the line, but it's yet to come at this point. So yeah. And I don't know if there is a limit on the amount of objects you can spawn. Let me see, because I've seen screenshots of just mountains of things to spawn. Let me see, can I just spawn them endlessly or is there a cap? Just gonna keep spawning them until the game crashes. And they just keep coming. for setting up scenarios on the roadway, especially during a crash or something. I'm surprised they have not crashed before. There's just so many. somehow manages to still go on. I'm surprised they were able to stabilize this many loose objects. And I believe you can crash into all of these with your car and move them around. They're not like static objects. They can actually move around and be interacted with to a certain degree. And I believe to clear all of these, all we have to do is go back to the menu and options release. Disappear at the same time. Watch all of these disappear. Go here. Hit F6 again. Go back to the object menu and hit delete all. Hold on. Oh, there they go. There they go. It took a second for the system to catch up. Yeah.
that's probably be all you'll be able to do right now with the pavilion room. It'll probably be a lot more fun when you actually have other stuff to do. All right, well, that's going to do it for my quick review of the new update and flashing lights. Um, if you like the review, leave a like, comment, or whatever you want to do. I'll see you guys next time. Later.